Yep. I've got a phone for you. I'll, 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 I'll get it organised. I'll get it sent for you. Oh, no. You know what it's going to be, don't you? It's going to be one of these big ones with pushy buttons that you can take in the bath. And if you press it, you get little tunes come out of each number. Yeah, it's a Nokia 5510. I was actually thinking something more soft and chewable. But fair enough. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what can I give you for it? I mean, I don't know what it nothing. is. So... It's, free. it's free. These 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 are phones that are sitting in somebody's cupboard doing nothing. It might not work. It might not be the best and stuff like that. But I give it a go. Wait and oh, see. Let us know what it is, and I can look up see if the firmware can be updated and that sort of shit. No worries. I will. I'll speak to said person after this. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. You know, my this is how Adam is. It's another um, another care package, one for each of you. Oh. Why is my? I might be sending you guys a sampler from the myth Mythic Meats people. My where I get my dragon and werewolf and stuff sticks. Oh, nice. I'm gonna see if they do international shipping. I need to check that out first. Did you get any basilisk in there? This is him trying to make up Siobhan. This is him trying <laughs> to know. back out. This is him trying to sweeten you up. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, did you get any basilisk last night, or did Jess hos hog them all? Oh, because... no, she took it all. Yeah. She took all And do you know it. why? Because you bloody deserved it. <laughs> I earned that so bad. Oh, my God. It felt so good. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was it. That was good. I you are very good at the, at the games mastering. Fair dues to you, mate. I constantly second-guess myself. Yeah, but... We all do that about everything. If we don't, you'd be a very worrying person to be around. Oh, I'm already a worrying person. Oh, I know that. <laughs> if I'm not worried, I know what you're happy to wrong. do to other people. Um, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I I'm saying nothing, Siobhan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I, I remember what I had to watch this bloody week. week. You've no idea what you've got coming. I'm just glad you guys that are not can't be worse than that. Uh, it can't be RPG groups I am because then you would know everything that's going on. I don't want to know. That's just it. I want to experience oh, I, and it. And I'm good with that. I'm, I'm the same with spoilers, you know? I mean, I didn't really know John Sim was coming back for Capaldi's last series, but I saw through the Razor Disguise halfway through the episode and went, no, it can't be. Oh, I didn't. I did. It's, there's something See, about the voice it all and the face and the mannerisms, the and I thought, Aye. that's John Sim. We yeah. should have known, too, based on the Master's, you know, whole mask fetish thing. Oh, the, well, it is a fetish, yes. Um, no, oh, you never said Shurim, Shuram, Shuram once. <laughs> I know, right? Thought the drums were beating yeah. so loudly that day. Oh, dear. Ah, so you had a good week. Remembering we're streaming, so I know we haven't started the show, but if you're going to say anything personal, don't. See that, Donald Trump? Well done. You have got the bet. You have got the best figures in the world just now, Brian, for fighting coronavirus. Well done, you USA. USA. Yeah, we are number one for fighting coronavirus. Too bad the figures are all fake. Yes, Sean, <laughs> you're quite right. Ashes to Ashes is coming back, except it's the third series. I don't know what it's going to be called, but it's going to feature both Sam and Alex. Oh, nice. How did how, how is he telling you this and not telling his father? Uh, because he loves his auntie. Oh, that's true, yes. Exactly. He, he despises his old father. This is it. Yes, yeah. You see? <laughs> it's a parent's, you know, lot in life. Yeah, yes, yeah. Always the last to find out. It's, it, it, it's, it's teenager. It's, it's teenage rebellion. It took twenty two years, but I'm finally getting the teenage rebellion. I wouldn't was allow teenage, teenagerism in the house at all. I that, thought that I had to go right out when my son was a teen. I got cats. I should have had cats. And yeah. as a result, I get pigeons as well. <laughs> Admittedly. <laughs> They come you in know, sections. Pizza Hut, they double his wings. Uh, <laughs> they serve them up as wings.
This smoker's cough is getting worse. I wish that I knew that there was something I could do about it. Mm, that is. Yeah, I know, but I'm scared of putting on weight. That's why I started smoking again, to lose a bit of weight. Once I get a surgery date, I will... Oh, right, right, right. Let's see. Go I've got to lose weight, and I put on weight in lockdown, and it's terrible. What is the time? We've got time for a title sequence. Almost! It's almost time for a title sequence! That's exciting. Oh, that reminds me. I've got to get that. <laughs> Sorry. i do my Kermit. Play on my arms. <laughs> no, I'm going to do waka waka waka. Oh, uh, yeah, you you missed a fun time. Yes. Oh, I just caught, I caught bits it before I came on. And I, I said I dipped in last night because uh, we were watching Fantasy Island. A show great film. My choice. I regret nothing. That was that film was wonderful. There was no plot holes in that film at all. What film? That, 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 what, uh, Sean, I'm sure we'll concur. Fantasy Island, work of masterpiece, masterpiece of it. I didn't know they'd made a film of it. It's the, it's the same people that took the banana splits and turned it into a horror film, have turned Fantasy Island see, into a horror film. I still film. can't see the banana splits horror film. I think I might, I might give it a go. I like the remake of Fantasy Island with Malcolm McDowell. That had a the dark 90s, side it was really to good. it. Mm. Yes, yes. You know what I actually downloaded the other night that I should have had in my library the entire time. The Last of the Mohicans. From 1992. Oh, the one with Daniel Day-Lewis? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot how good of a movie that was. Hi, hearts. Hello, hearts. Hey, should we do a title sequence? May as well. Yeah, Let us begin. Say. It's something to do. We, 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 I, I hit the uh, go button a bit early, I'm afraid. Sorry, loves. Anyway, um, here's the title sequence. Do sing along at home. You've got to fight for what you want, for all that you believe. It's right to fight for what we want, to live the way we please. As long as we have done our best, then no one can do more. And light and love and happiness are well... Okay, right. Hello there! Yes, I'm very blurry. I've got to get a new webcam. Things have gone a bit wonky. Welcome to the Flushing Bloke podcast. Ah, oh, dear. I'm Joanna Lumley, and with me are my plucky girl assistants, Brian and Eddie. Good evening. What about Wicked Whitaker's theme? Do you mean the title sequence in in that whole thing from the earlier uh, from the title sequence? Should why isn't Jodie Whitaker's um, title sequence ah? Because that this got made for the Flashing Blade Vidiprog, you see, uh, a few years ago, before Jodie had been cast. And I just haven't really plucked up the guts to ask Dr. Sinister to redo it for me, because it's a lot of work. Now, anyway, yes, we, let's try and start the show again. Uh, right, so, uh, yes, now then, boys. First things first, Eddie's had a haircut. I had Congratulations. noticed... Thank you. Four months in the making, worth every penny. You see, we didn't notice anything, because nine times out of ten you're wearing a hat. I, I've got it on standby ah, for when we're reviewing. This, this, this is good. And Brian, you're looking s smug. Yeah, I, I wonder why. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just this feeling I've had ever since last night. Right. I normally we approach the RPG side of things at the end of the show, but no. Just let him get it out. <laughs> just just get let him get, okay. get it get I'm over and fine. done with. All right. I'm fine. I'm good. You you and you and the others seem to be a little um what's the term? Butter. I believe the term we used was you bastard. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, you did. Hmm. Uh, Hello, some big brother. Of the viewers know I run the uh, I run the Marvel game Saturdays, and we had our season one finale last night. Well, it all came to a head that the party is actually working for the 
perhaps the bad guys in the big disaster that they were trying to prevent they actually caused after murdering 11 innocent I people trying was, to stop that i was bloody suspicious of that woman from the start you know i was i said i was mm -hmm. oh yeah you can be suspicious of her but you still no one listens to her you worked for it so anyway you... as a result um i obviously have to get revenge on behalf of the players of the role-playing game um don't uh, worry she's she's fine with andred they have a wonderful time um and she makes really good friends with romana don't worry yeah it's cool romana's coming up next don't worry i'm sorry romana one is coming up next don't worry and she goes on to lots of big finish stuff don't worry Brig lover right now yes um as i'm really the only person any decent revenge uh, a decent position to get revenge on Brian. Um, aside from Jess, except Jess's revenge would probably be involve large kitchen knives. As she they took share my a flat. Food. She she did take your food, yes. She took your food. <laughs> she took your food. <laughs> no and chicken wings. How no we all laughed. No, 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 no. She took she took all my basilisk sticks. Yeah. We laughed at that. That was fun. I had at least eight seven, eight of them left. And so um them. yeah, well, and, and she pelted me with chocolate covered donuts. You can actually see that out. in the video. I'm trying to work out oh, if that's a bad for thing or a good thing. When you say donuts, do you mean donuts proper or just tiny little things you get in a bag? Oh my god, we've got an armpit. So they're not really donuts. Well, well they're donuts. They're American donuts. No, they're just bag donuts. You see, in Britain, a... if you buy a donut, love, you you know, you don't pay for a hole, you pay for jam. Mm. You've been oh, custard, custard, the custard ones. Custard, oh, mm -hmm. they're nice. Oh, yeah, vanilla custard. Oh, right. Where was the story? That's very true. Um, in um, where are we? We're looking at the invasion of time. Uh, where was the story? She fell in love with some spotty little like in a vest. She's worried, Korean. Maybe I'm cynical. No, it was just it was a very rushed departure. Nobody knew if she was staying, if she was going, if she was pregnant, if she wasn't pregnant. And typical Graham Williams exit, unfortunately. Same th sort of thing happened to Romana. In fact, Romana 1 didn't actually get a send-off. Yo, Radox, how you doing, love? So, um, I might as well let you, know, you guys know what's coming up next before we start off proper. Um, there's no RPG next Saturday. We're having a one-week break. Um, <laughs> Wednesday, we're doing the live reaction to Dalek. So, join in. Come and join us for that one. That's 10.30 UK time, 5.30 Eastern. Um, of course, all this will be available on YouTube, and with luck you'll be able to sync it if you need to. Um, next Flashing Blade podcast is a special show, as we're going to be live reacting to the last episode of The Prisoner, which is available on YouTube, and we'll make the link available for people, um, which means you can all join in at the same time, and, uh, yeah. And after The Prisoner, what we'll be doing instead of reviewing The Prisoner, uh, we're introducing Brian properly to Blake 7. Okay. I think it needs doing. Um, however, <clears throat> because... Let's just face facts here. You boys You're have a vengeful, suffered. vengeful, old woman. I'm an evil genius. You're the ones who said it. Um, or genuinely evil, as Steve Roberts put it. Um... Because I mean, you've you've gone through some bad, you've gone through some rough Colin Baker stuff, haven't you? Time lash, yeah. the twin dilemma. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to no. do not for next Sunday. Both were masterpieces. We're not, you know, Both we, of those were works of art. Da, 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 where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Anyway, um, <laughs> moving on from that. That's not bad, Eddie. That that's that's very short into a broadcast. Um, so as a result, I thought we'd do something really decent. We can't do it next Sunday because next Sunday is the prisoner reaction. So for the Sunday after, we're going to be look looking at the Six Doctor Big Finish box set, The Last Adventure. Okay. Um, oh, is this the stage play that they converted? No, the, the, that's, the, the... that's the ultimate adventure. No, Big Finish, did, Colin never got a proper send-off. So Big Finish oh, gave him one. 
Um, oh. I think it's three or four stories, Colin Baker box set. Um, and it, it, it just explains the regeneration. So that will be Sunday after next. And the TV Doctor Who we're going to watch, just to put that one thing in context, is Time and the Rani, you utter bastard, Brian. No. Brian, what you did last night must have been unforgivable. Uh, I think it was, but I got an immense satisfaction from it. So I'm going to try Ronnie. He, he, he claimed to have an evil gasm or I something. I did. I totally had an evil gasm. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, wait till you see Time and Arani, mate. I have I usually write down. Everything will be fine. I usually write down because I forget stuff. Time and Arani, I won't forget. There you go. That's. That, that, that's... <laughs> But it has Sylvester wearing a tartan scarf. Surely that should appeal to you. Yes, it does. <laughs> and as long as it doesn't, the least as, as long as it doesn't, ever. <laughs> and as long as it doesn't have a woman with an annoying bloody English twang trying to the kid on she's American, dictating everything that's said by then putting it to music, starting rings on their fingers and bells on their toes, I'll probably be okay. I've just got to tell myself that I'll be okay. Everything will be fine. Hey, you've only got <laughs> Kef McCulloch's music. Yeah, speaking instead. of, where is Adam this week? We must. Adam is in Greenwich, yes. I believe. He's ran for the hills. He was supposed to join us, but uh, um, we're far he knew down what was coming. To priorities, he, quite frankly. Yes, he he will be coming. watching this on YouTube, so feel free to. Uh, um, when we come to the necessary. I points. will be conveying my appreciation. Yes, please do. <laughs> It'll be good. Uh, have you guys ever been to the doc any Doctor Who proms? Uh, Eddie? Brian? No, no I'd love to go, but no. We no, did some concerts no. in America as well. I went to the Doctor Who... Oh. I went to the... Um, oh, I can't remember what it was called. Doctor Who Live or something like that. With Nigel Planer. It was essentially a sequel to Carnival of Monsters. That was pretty good. And then they also did a concert, I think it might be one of the last concerts they did. And if you actually go to the Flashing Blade YouTube channel, which is what it's called, um, you'll see the very last episode on that is a report from there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but no, I'm afraid not. Adam has, if only he was here to tell you about them. I have watched them on TV and so on YouTube, I. though. So yeah, the, the yeah. Matt Smith ones... Oh, fantastic. Classic. Yeah. And there was some good one. I mean, yeah. the first one was Children in Need. It was set just after the 2005 series, and they premiered some music from the Christmas Invasion, which was actually the TARDIS chasing the taxi. And they cut it from the broadcast because they didn't want to give anything away. I like that. It's cool. Right. Um. So, yes, that'll be Twin Dilemma. Oh, no, it won't be time in the Rani. To start with, are, are you sure we're not gonna, we're not supposed to be watching Castrolova? If I knew what that was, love. Castrolova. That, that sounds like a dessert. Castrolova. Like is, is, is that oils? oil that you put yes. into a big weather yes. balloon? Castrolova. Yes. <laughs> Do you mean Castrovalva? Castor oil. Yeah, sure. Cast ca Castrova. Why would we be watching Castrovalva, Brian? Was it hope? It was hope. It was hope. Crush it. Cave of Andrazi. Kata Andrazani. 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 We will Thank come you. to that. Uh, Eddie, um, just as by way of us, hopefully a slight relief for you. Look at it as pulling a plaster off really quickly. Getting the bad ones out of the way first. Yeah, uh, that, 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 that's a very good analogy. Yes, that, true, true. Let, let's look at it like that. So the, the, what you're seeing is there's better to come. Exactly. Yes. However, yes. for the moment, the I'm enjoying your hatred towards Brian. It's like when I eat a meal, I always eat the vegetables first to get them out of the way. It's a Scottish thing, so it's getting the vegetables the out of the way first. I do the same, except I don't have vegetables. Doing something mm. wrong there. Came I'm not quite the sure why. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm okay. going to watch last night's RPG because, Brian, seriously, what you must... Uh, I must uh, have hmm. been a real bastard for this. Yeah, yeah, I'm not apologising. I'm just saying. I'm, <laughs> I'm owning up to it. One day we three will actually meet in person. I, 
I think that Eddie will kiss you in the traditional Glasgow manner. Yes. <laughs> Usually I will prep my chin for such a such an event. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shall we do some reviewing? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> oh, what the hell? We're here. Go to library. And now, from the worlds of BBC Television's Doctor Who, with rings on their fingers and bells on their toes. <laughs> I got a problem with that song. Every time I try and sing it, it goes wrong. It starts, it starts off as with rings on your fingers and bells on your toes. The wind blows straight through you. It's no place for the old. You scumbag, you uh -huh. maggot, you... No, no, it goes it's wrong. Okay. It's okay. Keep singing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so um, the right. I've given up trying to number them Doctor Who and his plucky girl assistant Stephen Taylor and uh, Dorothy Chaplet. Um, well, they've just escaped from the realm of the Celestial Toymaker. Uh, this is a first Doctor adventure, apparently. I, I, I don't know. I think we're using Pretty Patel maths now to work out which Doctor's which. Um, it's the first Doctor we're aware of. We'll go with that. Mm, yeah, so yeah, we like that one. That's, that's good. Where does that put Hinchcliffe, though? Anyway, uh, the... Um, uh, and the Doctor has just eaten a gobstopper from the naughty schoolboy Cedric. How the gobstopper still exists when A, the realm was destroyed, and B, they're in a separate dimension inside the TARDIS, we don't know. But Doctor Who gets a terrible toothache. Oh, my word, you've never heard such a bit of paraphernalia. Anyway... Doctor Who, if you remember back at the time, can't control his space-time ship TARDIS. And so they have to hope that the next landing they're at, uh, there's a dentist. And lo and behold, they're lucky because there is. Admittedly, it's slightly primitive. I think we're talking 19th century here. Um, and it's a, a, a little, little known town called Tombstone. Um, you may have <coughs> heard of it. Uh, yes, it was, wasn't it in an episode of Star Trek? They made a movie about it. Um, Spectre of the HBO Cup. TV series, I think. No, that was Deadwood. Uh, where did I hear about this town? It's Doctor Who does a western. It's... Now, I'm going to get my review out of the way first, quite frankly, because I love this. Yes, the song ends up becoming a right pain in the ass. Go on, do it, go on, just do it, do it. Do wait, it. We'll, we'll I won't just, wait. Let's I'm hear just it. Let Eddie run no, 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 and I, I, I find myself dictating my life with that song. But wouldn't being it be like wonderful if everywhere for... you went and everything you did, someone followed you singing that, narrating your life, like like bold Sir Robin from the Holy yeah. Grail? It, it would be a very short life. Oh, dear. Right, quick It would be a fast track to the end. Quick reply to chat. Um... My camera is old and the software stopped working. As a result, the autofocus has gone loony. I hopefully will be getting a new camera in time for next Sunday. Hopefully. Um, but, Sean, seriously, you, you like this. Ladies first. Ladies first. Okay. Um, I, I love this. Uh, Jeremy Bentham, J. Jeremy Bentham, the well-known ancient dinosaur of Doctor Who. He, he is an ancient being. Slarty Bentham. Um, I know him. Don't worry, he'll accept that in good faith. Some of the things, other things I've said, no. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he wrote back in Doctor Who Weekly, possibly, or one of the early Doctor Who monthlies, that um, The Gunfighters was the worst Doctor Who story ever. I even have been in Peter Haining book. 
A celebration. I don't know. I'd have to check that up. Anyway, um, he's wrong, but he still stands by it today. It's not the worst Doctor Who story. It is by no means the best Doctor Who story. And like I say, whilst the song is a great storytelling thing, it does start to grate. They overuse it terribly. The accents are interesting. Um, however, we got Shane Rimmer there. Uh, Scott Tracy in himself. Plus Parker's there behind the bar. That's David Graham, who also originated, uh, helped originate the... Oh, the Charlie voices. the Barman. Yes. Charlie, yeah. Um, and of course there is some magnificent comedy Um, Hartnell is on fire during this people keep giving him guns he doesn't know what to do with them forget it being Mr Wyatt Earp ends up as oh Mr Wepp Um, the scene when he first meets Doc Holliday in the dentist's office and he's trying to get out of having everything done Oh, it's, it's just comedic genius. It's it's it's. I love it. I love it to bits. Right. Okay. That's the plus plus sides. Go on. Who wants? Which one of you wants to go first? I think it should be Eddie. I'm letting the Scotsman go. Yeah, I he's would because he's going to go far. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be kind of short and sharp. So mm-hmm. I don't do westerns. I was brought up on a diet of Bonanza, the, the High Chaparral, the Virginia the Little House in the Prairie. I will call that a western as well. I hate westerns. I watched three westerns in my life. I watched A Man Called Horse because I thought it might be Mr. Ed the movie we're talking horse. It wasn't. I watched Return of <laughs> the Man Called you, Horse please? in How case they'd made a mistake. You? And they were, what, uh, oh, probably about 14. Uh, I was thick. I watched Return of a Man Called Horse in case they'd made an error and they were going to put Mr. Ed back in a movie. They didn't. I watched The Dances with Wolves thinking at some point the wolves, over the three hours, would probably revert back to their natural instincts and kill Kevin Costner. They didn't. I do not like westerns. This has got to be have some of the worst voice act- uh, P- uh, who, who, Perry Brown's American access, uh, accent is, is criticised. It's got nothing on these. These are people who are brought up in RADA or classically trained British speakers trying to put on American accents. It's terrible. The, the whole thing around the everything that has happens to the Doctor is sung by a woman who does the same song again and again That's Linda and Barron, again. that is. That's Captain Linda Rack. Barron. I, no, I, I, I'm a big Where fan. I, I was a big fan of Linda Barron. It's just, it becomes torturous. Uh, the, the Doctor, the, 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 the Doctor's tooth, right? I, I know this predates the whole concept of regeneration. But surely to God, the Doctor could just regenerate his tooth. Then the episode could have been over and they could have left. Uh, I didn't get the comedy. Then again, I'm Scottish, we don't do comedy. We're miserable bastards. So I didn't get the comedy. Uh, I thought the acting was terrible. Poor Peter Purvis. Who on earth thought about making him wear that little kid's uh, bloody frilly uh, outfit? He can belt the man out was a song, humiliated. Though. Oh, he can belt out a song, yeah, but unfortunately it's the song that the bloody woman <laughs> sings all the way through the episode, and we get him and the... Uh, oh, no, no, it's... It, I found it torturous. I, I was live-tweeting you guys, like, using whilst I was watching I it, and it was like, she's singing again! She's singing again! No! It, 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 it just... It, halfway through it, I'm glad I know that Johnny the Barman also plays P- Parker. Johnny the Barman guy, spoilers, uh, gets shot about halfway through this. I was envious of Johnny the Barber. <laughs> By that point, I wanted the glorious release of death. I am glad that I wasn't there to see these episodes early doors, because uh, I'm a child of the, six, the 70s, not the 60s. This would have put me off, Doctor Who. Uh, so, no. Uh, was it Was it my cup of tea? No. It wasn't even my tepid water. I, I just this for me is as if Adam, who suggested this, mm, had into my brain and suggested what 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 can we do to kind of irritate Eddie? What what uh, from a Doctor Who world? Siobhan, you're an evil genius. Yes. Adam is a close second because I, I was hoping he would be on I this beat Purcell. I personally I wanted to thank beat him. Purcell. Yes. 
Oh yes, yes. You, you're you're doing a double head with time and time and the Rani and some of the stuff that you've made Prime watch. So I am going to say Adam Purcell. I hope one day that we do meet. We were supposed to maybe catch up with each other's at the Hoovers. Uh, maybe next year we'll, we'll meet up. Uh, I will not forget this. I will not forget this. My son is on chat. He knows that I am known to hold grudges. And this is a mother of a judge, a grudge. So uh, I am looking, compared to the time in the Rani next week, I'm looking forward to it. I, I apologise for reviews I gave of The Twin Dilemma. I apologise for reviews I gave of Time Flight. They were Oscar-nominated category, Emmy Award-winning episodes <laughs> compared to this. You know, so you may gather, I didn't like it. I didn't like there's it. There's more stuff like this. You know that, don't you? Oh, I know. I know. I mean, I've watched yeah, it. We will be going there. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, Sean we, we, has we, have just... to, we have to visit the dark places. Sean's just put an interesting question. What about Blazing Saddles? I love Blazing Saddles because Blazing Saddles takes the Western genre and rips it to bits. Doesn't That's the gunfighters do Saddles. that? If it does, it doesn't do a very good job of it. Maybe, maybe if they'd have stripped out bloody Linda Bellingham singing that bloody song every three seconds, I'd have maybe got into it. But like I said, Johnny the Barman, you lucky bastard! You get killed. You get you get taken out of misery. You were yeah, and, and, and then the, the the elements where they were going to hang Stephen, I would have happily taken his place. Right, and I, I, I can, I've just worked something out. You've seen Time of the Rani before, haven't you, Eddie? I have, yes. How long ago? Can you remember? Uh, I, I probably watched it recently because I, I watched it again that's, when they did the reruns on Twitch. That's great. That's wonderful. This means, love, you don't have to watch it if you can do the review by memory. <laughs> From memory? <laughs> yes, probably. Okay. I forgot about that. Yes. Well, how do you think I've been getting through all this? I haven't watched one of the bastard things. Yeah, but you, you've 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 got them scarred now. It's like, but, but yeah, so, so I, I, I there are, there are gaps in my viewing of Hartnell. Same here. I have tried to watch the Gunfighters before. This forced me to watch it all the way through. Uh, so thank you for that, Adam. Uh, I, I will I will take I will take my gratitude to the next plane. I uh, hope we can meet soon. I will have my revenge. Eddie. Oh, yes. <laughs> I will have my revenge. I know where he lives, mate. He's five yeah. minutes down the road. We'll talk afterwards. Okay. Right <laughs> oh. So, um, I'm not quite sure how you're going to top that, Brian, but have a go. I can't top that. There, there are only some things I can add to it. Um, for one, I agree with the accents. What the hell were that? Oh, like that? you know. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, oh, also, if that was a me. decent recreation of the old West, Brig Lover, goodbye. Then... I'm sorry. What? I, I think I've frightened Brig Lover away. Sorry, yeah. Brig Lover. I, I'm not normally this miserable. Could have been actually nice earlier. Sorry, Brian. Well, but that no, was, no, that was it's a quick okay. It, it, where was it? Oh, if this is an accurate representation of life in the Old West. It's no <laughs> wonder they went around killing each other. <laughs> it's mercy. It was a mercy killing. It wasn't yeah, murder. It was absolutely. a mercy killing. Yeah. Uh, my, my other thing is, I actually ran out of alcohol during this. This caused me to run out of alcohol. <laughs> do you know how much you have to drink in this house? We were going to do this run? as a live reaction, remember, originally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Do you know how much you ha I have to drink to run out of alcohol in this right. house? Right. So the replacement liver bill will be sent over here, will it? Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going to need a new liver. Maybe you know. We'll see. But Hang on. Really. Hmm. Something's bothering me here. Uh oh. Chappy matey bloke up there, from the country that loves line dancing. Um. Surely you must have seen some Sergio Leone westerns, the Clint Eastwood Madden. Oh, no, no, no wah, 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 ha, ha, ha. Never get past that. Really, you've met, they are wonderful films, and the score. And I should have done this a week or so back by Ennio Morricone. 
the man, his music is iconic. It's everybody else afterwards who's just the cliché. Okay? His music isn't clichéd. It's iconic. It was there first. It's beautiful, he, he, beautiful music. He does the music for a, a little-known kind of sword and sorcery film, which for the life of me, I cannot remember. But Sean, you're on. The, the, what was the name of the film? Death. Death, 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 death. Death Hunter or something like that. Uh, and uh, uh, it was me and Sean. Sean had that as his ringtone. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I could go for that, but they the whole man with no name and Lee Van Cleef and no, um, I, I just don't do westerns. I forgot something. Oh my god! All right, so um, big thumbs up there from all three of us for the gunfighters. Yes, up yes. There. two thumbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, up. Seriously, yep. if you've not watched it, watch it. There's good so, stuff in there. I, I'm actually hanging upside down from the ceiling. Just in case you're yep. wondering, I'm in the back position. Hmm. Join us in our misery. Misery loves company. Excuse me a second, I need to buy my. Oh, we killed Siobhan again. Our leaders disappeared. We can't hear you. You do know you can talk when I don't, don't you? That's, that would be rude. You're gen a couple of gentlemen. No, but really, what mm. would we say about you? <laughs> you like, really? Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, it'll have been said before. Um, right, so we forgot something earlier. I Death said we. Stalker. I forgot something. Death Stalker's the name of the picture where Ernst Marconi did the music for. That's, it's a terrible film. The soundtrack's perfect. Yeah, if you just want to listen to some of just his music outside context, it's just beautiful stuff. Right, so unwrapping video, uh, unboxing. Last week, Ooh. happy Ooh. viewers may remember, Eddie sent me a care package. It's on the YouTube channel. Scottish you care know, package. Care, Scottish care package, yes. The week before, there was a slight accident involving a cat and a bar of chocolate. This is what happened to the Galaxy Bar that Eddie sent to me. Oh! Um, it got catted. Tragedy. It has been in the fridge for a few days in the hope that... It will be opened. Oh, yes. I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> and the other thing is, as I started to do stupid junk that I might have, this is a good one. All right, we had the silly lump of plastic last week. And yes, I know it doesn't have the sink plunger. The sink plunger's fallen out. It's in a box somewhere. However, oh, that's lovely. If I nice. do this, if I can remember how to. I can't remember how this goes. Hang on. There we are. Suddenly, Ooh. it's a playset. Do you see? Oh, lovely. You got Davros in there. I'm trying to get the. There you go. So it's Emperor Dalek, but it's the one that flips up and it's Davros inside. Yeah. And then, then, then under here, you got a gun. You see? Which, if I can get it up and running. Hang on. Which. You got a gun. And you get a little silver oh, Dalek. Yes. Who needs your Transformers? There's your Transformers right there. There's the there you go. Transformer. The big There's question way better here, than my Transformers. The really big question is, why the hell have I got this? I yeah, where did it come from? Because you probably saw it at a convention a and were no, like, oh, no, I'll buy that. I reckon, I reckon that was a present from someone. Uh, but yes, uh, that's useless Doctor Who tap that I have. This is going to be an ongoing thing. Um, right, so uh, we did that. Now, we didn't do a big finish this week, did we? No, no, we did not. No, we did not. However, we are going to have a conversation. Guys, what would you like from the next series of Doctor Who? The next what Jody I would series? Like... Hmm. Yeah. I have actually warned you about this beforehand, so you should have some thoughts. 
I put everything into my, my rant about it. It was the, a very good fighters. rant. I was very proud of you. Thank you. That's all right. Thank you. I'm thinking. I'm just going to let you down. Hmm. You want what? Less. I'm thinking less companions. That's probably going to happen. Doctor One on One works really well with an ensemble. Not so much. No, I think two companions can work as well. I mean, look at Harry and Sarah. Look at Stephen and Vicky. Two, two is fine. Three's a crowd. The ponds. You know. Graham and Ryan, their own little send off, their own little show. Mm, I don't think they're popular. They could be the new show. Sarah Jane. I don't think that's going to happen. I know. Um, but yeah, so I, I mean, what sort? What do you want? I mean, we obviously want an answer to who, where the Roof Doctor comes in all this. Yes. The Roof Doctor explained Roof doctor, Captain Jack um, to come back and not just to be a kind of uh, mm -hmm. more, more, more Jack. Bring Jack back and let's find out more about what he's gone through just now because they kind of left that open as well. Yeah, that, that was a big open door. Um, I'd like to actually see some value. Oh, it's complicated, but it's Doctor Who, so complicated is what's what they do. The Valyard and the Lumina. Yeah, that would be awesome. Actually, I'm surprised that Big Finish aren't planning one like that. The Valyard versus the Lumiad. The Lumina, yep. That that would be awesome. Yeah. Do you know do you know what would be would be lovely and it'd be a great kind of Dichotomy as well. River Song to come back and River Song meeting Jodie's doctor. Uh, that oh, would just that would be, be fantastic. Uh, just think of the band. Uh, just think of the beautiful band that would produce. You see, much as that's a nice dream pairing, River's story is done. It's told. You know? I, I, I think it would be. But a she's in the library, to... isn't she? She's, yeah, she's, she's, she's in the library. She's she's consciousness in the library. Jodie can bring her back. Please. It's Doctor Who, nobody really dies. Ooh. It's okay, Brian. She's fine, Adric. Brian. She's still alive. Don't, 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 she's... Katrina. Sarah Kingdom. Nobody really dies. They're dead. It's okay. They've got the nope. dead. They were muddered. <laughs> nope. Nope. Show me a body. Well, um, Adric's a part of all of us. Um, Katrina's we all have a little Adric right we in do, our heart here. We do. Um, Katrina's floating around. In BL's space, back. Uh, Brig Lover's back. Her daughter's fine, which is great to hear. She was thought her daughter was ill, so that's good. Good that she's she's good. feeling fine. Your daughter is Kate. So just to bring. Sorry, she I'm just jumping we watching the, the gunfighters bandwagon. Everything is cake, apparently. I'd like to know where the master fits in. Whereabouts? Uh, is he? I, I I hope as well. Just that they they kind of keep up the standard of the writing this time around. It, it was it was much yeah. better in the first season. They expand on that and more two parters so that they're not rushing the storylines mm -hmm. and we're, yes. we're actually getting a little time for the stories to more breathe. Yes. Be really more nice development. Time. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Um, I do want to say one thing though. When Jody punched Sasha right at the end of the finale le last year. I cheered because he had been asking for it the entire time. And she just hauled off and belted him. I still say the best. There's, there's two re really good punches in Doctor Who. There's Duggan punching out Scaroth um, a couple of times, I think. Uh, and the other punch, of course, is Capaldi and the racist. Which... Is how you should treat Nazis, basically. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, yes. So, anything else? Come on, come on, come on. What about an arc? What sort of an arc should we have for the series? I mean, we've done the roof thing. All right, we need to find out a bit more. We need to find out a bit more about the master. What about the cyber lords? Are they still around or not? I mean, there, there I are threads so. dangling at the yeah. moment, and the question is, we don't know how long we have for them to be answered. Have we just got the one more series? Or will there be a bit extra? Do you think this could be Jodie's last season? Do you think so? Jodie's going to leave? It's her third that? series. Capaldi only did the three. Yep. It's Ten hard to so do it for as long as she wants. Troughton did three. McCoy did three. Yeah, but Baker did seven. Yeah. 
Some people say that was too many. Tom might say that. Sean, Sean's, Sean's going to do a face palm. Uh, I'm saying it, but I hope there's a multi doctor story and I hope they bring back the 11th doctor. 11th a multi doctor story would be good. Yeah. Well, the 60th is yeah. coming up. It's yeah. so, charging so bring back, towards so, us, actually. Which makes me scary. wonder, will Chibnall stay scary. on to helm that, or will he just basically dump this thing straight in the lap of any successor and say, yeah, you go, you got a couple of years to sort this out. Have fun, bye. Um, Radox. Ah, oh, that's an interesting See? thing. I've said this before on the show, the Doctor meets herself when she was Merlin. Now, of course, the Merlin Doctor we haven't seen yet, because he's ginger-haired. And he wears an Afghan coat, apparently. But it, I'd Sean, love. I, I Sean, would opportunity, love to, Sean. Uh, well, quite. Um, Come on, Sean, step up. <laughs> oh yes, very much for the sixtieth. Very much so. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they would need, uh, and for the sixtieth, they need everyone. Interesting. They, they need and, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, Brig Lover says Eccleston. not yep. Eccleston, though. No. I'd bring Eccleston back too. I'm going to bring him back, yeah. I'd make him the pivot of it. Because, to be fair to, to, to Eccleston, the one thing that really attracts him is the scripts. And to get him back for a multi doctor thing where he's got to share the thingy, that might be a bit awkward because, it, you know, it, it might degrade on the performances he gave during his own time on the show. However, if you make the script sort of pivoting like him, like they did with John Hurt's War Doctor, it gives him just that bit more to get his teeth into. I don't so, know. something yeah, to that... do, deal with uh, Bad Wolf. Because yeah. that would... When, when Rose breaks time, she really breaks time. Well, yes, yes, indeed. Oh, I remember going Excuse to the you? cinema to watch Day of the Doctor. That was one hell of a day, that was. Mm -hmm. That was just brilliant. I enjoyed that day. That was a good day. So yeah, Morty Doctor would be good. Eccleston coming back, but that's that's more sixtieth. Uh, next year, again for me, just build on the standard of writing they did in the last season. More two parters. Let stories breathe, uh, and uh, the whole thing around. Don't whatever you do, bring back Toothy McGee. Please do not think. Oh, right, he's, we've missed him for a season. Let's bring him back. What's his face? Tim Shaw. Don't bring Tim Shaw back. That was a mistake. No. It's... Uh, we didn't need him. So I've just read chat here. Um, he is a prick. I've met him. Hate him. He was an okay doc, though. I met him oh, before oh. he was Doctor Who. And I'm not going to say who said that or who she's talking about. Or he, indeed. <sighs> Nearly blew it there, yes, Brig Lover. Was... Don't worry. I think I covered it up. Yes, no one can look in chat. Well, not if they're on YouTube. <laughs> not on YouTube. Exactly. This is true. You see? So don't worry, Brig Lover. Nobody knows in chat that you, you, you're the one who said that. Hey, Brig Lover, if you've ever watched Gone in 60 Seconds, there's this line he says, do I look like an asshole? And the answer is, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there was our incredibly in-depth, what do we want from next year's Doc 2, apart from the fact it actually gets made? That would be nice. Oh, well, oh, that's a fairly good point. Yeah, and, and bring the, the Christmas, Christmas episode back to Christmas Day. Yes, the Christmas Day yes. Doctor yes. Who. Christmas no, no, no. Day Doctor Who. We need Who. two: the Christmas Day and the Children in Need. Yeah, two, the two from specials the because it's the holiday yep. season. Damn it! I'd like to see a Halloween special. Ooh, that would be good. Where they're allowed to just step over the line a little bit, make it just that bit scarier. They did. Mm -hmm. I can't quite remember when Waters of Mars was broadcast, but it was around about that time, and that was quite a scary one for the youngsters. Oh, the Monsters in Love one was a, was a good scary one too for the kids. In which one, sorry? The the one the one where uh, they had the two monsters in love. Two monsters. In... Oh, uh, it's the haunted house one. Oh, yeah. Uh... And the psychic one. Yeah. The parapsychologists yep. are, in, are oh, it's kind of ghostbustery. Yeah, in, in the half of a season that we don't actually bother remembering. Yeah, um, it was called Hyde, I think. I think. And then there right. was the uh, fear one. 
Uh, with the thing under the bedspread. Listen, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, what the Sean, hell was Sean under the kept, bedspread? Sean said, you know, big nasty for the next Doctor. The memes are out there. Oh, God, that's so blood. Sean, that's all. That's so last. You know me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm up with the kids. I'm up with my memes. Why that's just you, so last week. You, Come right. on, please. Right, so that was Doctor Who. Um... Oh, next year, sorry, before we go, next yeah, year yes, what they need to do is they do an episode where jody has got toothache and they have to go back to a Western scenario where, yeah, that'd be horrifying. Make that the One the Direction. Special. I can't let it go. Music. I can't let it go. One Direction. And they have this thing every, every time the commercial comes back. Oh, we don't have commercials yeah. over here with Doctor Who, love. We're oh, British, you're don't lucky. you know? We are spoiled. We are spoiled. We have just for, the BBC. Just think, every commercial would be Bells on your feet. No! I was no! going, like I say, I was going to rearrange the lyrics of the song and sing a verse about the flashing blade, but like I say, the problem is it sleeps into the fairy tale of New York every time. So, uh, yeah. Frobisher. <clears throat> oh, that's a good one. Frobisher. That, they could do Frobisher now. Oh, be great. Frobisher would be fun. Especially if they get Robert Jesus to voice him. Oh, that would be interesting. Even as a one-off, because, to be fair, a completely... A constant companion, which is constantly CGI'd. Difficult to maintain, difficult, pricey to keep going. Difficult to act with up to a point. Look what happened to Canine. You know, you know, don't look at me! Look we at the eyeball! The eyeball's up here! Farscape. Look at the eyeball! We need look to get you to watch Farscape. Because uh, yes. oh, that was the other thing. We Brian came up with this wonderful idea. Why don't we do something else? Why don't we look at other television programs as well? Let's do another podcast and let's do that. And we, we undernerd about it. One of the things you want to listen to was podcasts, wasn't it, Brian? Slight problem with that. Well, is that I don't listen. Because to podcasts. I listen to our mostly radio drama. Yeah. Um, it's for, not my for those too, that but... are into podcasts. It's mostly you know. Uh, things like the black tapes, mm -hmm. Tannis, mm -hmm. pseudo uh, Magnus archives. I'm, I'm gonna shout, give a shout out to pseudo pod. They're very good. Um, and because I don't really like podcasts and stuff like that, I thought, well, no, let Eddie and Brian do it themselves. Fly, be free. Um, however, no, we worked you. out can't something no, very, very do. important about this idea. Uh, which one of you two would like to tell the boys and girls? what the main stumbling block to this was. Me not come in. We don't have enough time in the week. No. No, no we don't. Well, I do, but those two don't. Um, so, yeah, that I, the idea of another podcast isn't going to happen. Um... However, we, we are going to continue covering non top 2 stuff. Like I say, after we finish with The Prisoner, we'll be looking at Blake 7. Talking of The Prisoner, number two's fed up. And it's a number two we know. It's Leo McKern. One of the I've best. been watching some Rumpole with yeah. the Bailey recently. Talking Pictures TV is just fucking brilliant. They're going to be showing Run Around soon, the old Mike Reed game show. They, they, they've been shown run around uh, I, 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 the last few Christmases I've been getting up before the kids, albeit my kids are 2022 uh, they show the run around Christmas special every year on Christmas Day morning with the special appearance of Big Daddy, it's glorious they do it, they've been doing it for years if they're bringing it back proper, even better I, I, no, that, it's the whole they repeat, it's talking pictures so it's, it's the, the whole archive thing. run I mean, nice. I, I've already got a series link set up for Cat Weasel. <coughs> oh, take care, Brig Lover. Take care, sweetheart. We got oh, a lot for her. I've noticed this. Um, right. So, um, yeah. So they decide to go for the ultimate sanction. Where number six and number two are locked up in a room and only one of them is going to get out alive. And so the mind games begin. The seven ages of man, almost. <sighs> so, I'm going to pass over to Brian. Okay. Brian, come on. What do you think? Your first viewing of it, so... It's incredibly trippy. 
It is, isn't it? It is incredibly trippy. They drug six or something. They're, I think they're both on something during this because they're just not right. Yes, Hots. Is Brian frozen? No, I'm right here. Oh, no, no, no. It's just, it's just, it's, 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 it's being taken in by the trippiness. Ah, it, it, it was it, trippy. You know, it, I mean, regressing six down to child infancy and bringing him back up, and he's still not breaking. And then he turns it around on two again and drives him insane. It doesn't just drive him insane. I don't want, I don't want to spoil it for next week, but next week's going to be something special. You have oh, no yes. idea. <laughs> you think this is trippy? Buckle up. Yeah, man. Oh, Could I suggest ingesting large quantities of uncut grade A <laughs> drugs before next Sunday evening? I will see what I can do about getting the MDMA. All I'm going to say is I once caught next week the fallout, the last episode, in German. And it made more sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it may well do. It may well do. So, uh, did you I'll enjoy have to it? See about getting some DMT then. Did you enjoy it? Oh yeah, yeah. It was it was okay. I, I watched it right after the Gunfighter, so I was kind of sobering up. So it made it a little <laughs> easier. Okay, interesting. Any themes you might have picked up on? That Patrick McGoon sweats an awful lot <laughs> when he's on drugs. <laughs> well, if you don't name DMT and us, you won't sweat. It. Yeah, yeah, they're both very sweaty in this. So, okay, let's get the it was facts. Not in the air conditioned room, I'm guessing. Let's get the facts now, Eddie. Tell us about this one. This this perfect lead up to where you're going, Brian. And like I said, buckle up because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Uh, it's one of the own. That, well, we we see number two back from uh, uh, the the chains of Big Ben. So McKern was only the other, the only other actor. There's two actors. McKern was the second that appeared, that was came back for for two appearances as number two. And this one it opens up in the case of why is he back? Why was he not killed or passed on? It's because the chains of Big Ben was not his idea. He makes it perfectly clear. The last time I was here, you made me follow your plan. This is his plan. He's going to revert number six back to a childlike state, and you bring him up. Yep. Uh, become a kind of mentor figure and then get the secrets off of them. All the way through it, we just see that number six, is six really playing with him? Is he re has he really been reverted? Basic things like count, count to, counting to six, and it's one, two, three, four, five, seven. He will not say six. He will he, Even in his childlike state, he will not say that hey, he's a number six. Uh, McKern, just it's just a quintessential number two. He gives a performance of his life from being in charge to basically being whittled away and broken by six till it gets to the point where roles are reversed. And for me, the quintessential performance in this is the person who is all the way through that and says nothing. Angelo Muscat is the butler. Yes. It's just like he plays along and then by the end it's like, yeah, you're in charge now, and he starts following orders from number six. He abandons number two. More of that to come, Brian. Uh, and it's just a, a, a master. The, the guy does not get the, the the credit he deserves. He's there all the way through. He's the silent assassin. He's just there doing it. And it, it, yeah, Angelo Muscat, hats off. Which, for me, one of the star performers. Which leads us to this week's question. Ideas is the penultimate yeah. episode. Ask it, please. Yeah. Brian, mm. who is yes. number one? Mm. I want to say the butler is number one, but the person still running the show is six. Is he? Hey, he's... Sure. He, he ran number two into the ground. What about the supervisor? The man who's obsessed by the color orange. Number 68 comes Orange in and alert. says to him, okay, we... Yeah. You, okay, you're in charge now. Let, I'll take you to see number one. 
They're probably going to get into a room and it's going to be a mirror. Not my Batman, wife then. said that. The, 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 that's spooky because my wife's watched this for the first time as well. Uh, and she said he's going to get taken to a room and there's a mirror. That's going to be a very short episode if that comes to fruition. That's very and like true. I said, no, I cannot wait till next week. Into the I cannot room wait. And, everything. and then he finally oh. gets in. He tears open the door. He walks into the room and it's just mirrors. I can't wait. No, I really can't. I'm wait. looking forward to this. Exactly the yeah. ultimate yeah. trippy and trippy at statement. the end of next week's episode, which, like I say, we'll be watching live. Um, there's be a live reaction, and you guys can join in with us. We'll give you the link to watch it. We will ask you one last time who number one is. So, uh, yo, Wolfcat, how you doing, sweetheart? It's lovely to see you here. Uh, Wolfcats come from Star Trek Online slash Diablo 3, I think. Um, so, yeah, and I'm very... I've got to get a new webcam. This is just... <laughs> this is how Are my mind sure? normally is, if I'm honest with you. It's also how, no. how, how I see the world where I'm wearing a face mask. See this distortion here? That's the same one that Michael had as he turned into Dr. House. Right, which doesn't exactly really help much to the people listening to this. No. No. Well, they have to watch the RPG to get I the entire... I see, right. See? Yeah, ah. uh, uh, we're, we're, we're crossing over. We're... Yeah, I see what you did there. Uh-huh. Wacky wheels. Oh, cool. What's wacky wheels? I don't know. I've got to go back into Star Trek Online afterwards. I've, st I've still got to call two, uh, kill two captains on the ground, so that's some Borg. I'll go into the hive on that one. Yeah. Right. I I'm taking. I'm having a long weekend. I'm taking Friday off in preparation for Sunday, and I'm taking Monday <laughs> off as well. Because nice. it's just. The thing is, uh, you and uh, I know what's coming. Can't we? That's just it. I would suggest alcohol, though, Brian. Well, I'll have alcohol. It will be available. Um, well, and there, there's out. going to be I'm a drinking game. Some calls if I want to get some ayahuasca, though. Um, Just... There's going to be a drinking game. All right. Every time somebody says, "I," you have to drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's the law. Right, stomach pump alert. Stomach <laughs> pump alert. No problem. Right, you're going for that. You, you're going to agree to that one. Hey, I, I will make my just, milkshake right before the show. Dude, just hook up an intravenous line. <laughs> All <laughs> right, then. So, let's do a rundown. During the week, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and possibly next Saturday, indeed, um, there'll be Star Trek Online shenanigans I'll be streaming, as well as a bit of Diablo 3, possibly. I don't know. Um, Wednesday, we've got the live reaction to Dalek, uh, the Christopher Eccleston story. That's 10.30 uh, UK time, 5.30 Eastern. And then next Sunday will be the Flashing Blade Live, as always, 9pm slash 4pm. Um, however... Slightly different because we're going to be doing. A, uh, we're going to watch Fallout live for your amusement, um, and we'll just watch Brian's brain gently ooze out of his ears. Um, In the milk. Yep, and then of course the week after that, time of the Rani. That's good, isn't it? Ray, listen, I've given you a way out, you ungrateful git. <laughs> I forgot, sorry, yes. Brian, hey, on your own. At this point, I'm just going to be switching my career to alcoholic. So <laughs> Take care, Hoss. Thank you for popping in, sweetheart. Uh, See you later, Hoss. Yeah. So that's... So we, we've got a full full couple of weeks coming up. Just one other thing quickly. I forgot to plug it. Um, I took part in extracurriculum activity. Uh, Seeing other podcasts again, Brian. Yeah, uh, the Seeing UFO cast. Podcasts. I was back on the UFO cast before the World Cup trailer. of the Seventh yeah. Doctor. Um, the first part of that is out. Um, you can get it anywhere your reputable podcasts are and other ones. Uh, so that's the UFO cast. Uh, it's with Luke Harrison, Tony Cross, um, 
Michael Sinclair from the, the Tin Dog Podcast. And I got to admit, I do enjoy recording those shows. It's it's a bit different to this. Um, I'm not in charge. That's what I like about it. Somebody else is in charge. And I, I, don't, sit Eddie, I feel like a jilted lover here. Yeah, yeah. That just, She's leaving just us. just feels as if, yeah, yeah. Now you're just all of it you, you young man. You. She's, su- she's suggesting, Brian, that we do our own stuff now, and now she's wanting an open relationship. Yeah, I, I know yeah, where this is uh-huh. mm-hmm. yeah. We know where this one's headed. Yeah, maybe we should see other people. Yeah, okay. You've been seeing maybe we should see Dave. other podcasts. Yeah, you've been seeing. Pro- yes. The only one who has remained faithful is Brian. That's because nobody really knows he podcasts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To be fair. So if you have a podcast out there and you'd like Brian to guest on it, do please get in touch. If you would like me to talk about Marvel superhero RPGs ad nauseum. He, he's actually very good. He's written whole things about them and everything else like that. It's like Sinister. Sinister's really good with his military history and stuff like that. It, it's amazing what you find out about people. Like I say Brian's great at writing modules for RPGs and this, that, and the other. Sinister, his military history. Eddie hats um yeah i do hats i do want to say that i have i did write up the uh adventure that you guys just completed that's how staggering you guys were basically writing the adventure as we were going along that's how staggering story started actually uh basically we started to put up written reports of our role-playing games Uh. yeah you're welcome to, to to send them to Staggering Stories. I'm sure Adam will put them up. I, I don't, don't know if anybody. Story them. though, it's just a module. I wrote it in as much generic terms as possible, mainly because you know if anybody else wants to run through it, they don't have to use your characters. Uh, yes, Radox, very much so. Getting Sally James, Professor Dave's Ark in Space. Um, Sally if you James, didn't live yeah, in the cha- if you didn't live in the yeah. Channel Islands. In the 70s and 80s, you would have seen Tiz was. And Sally James was a very big part of that. And they've got her on the show. Fair dues. We've had famous people on the blade as well. Don't worry. It's just, it's a bit more difficult to do like this. We've had a live situation. We, we very nearly got Adam J. Purcell. We nearly did. Uh-huh. I know. We were this, this close. close. This close. Yeah. That was a lucky No, escape. we're nearly this close. We've gotten Helen. He- yes, Helen. And, and yeah, you've Helen. seen, you've seen bits Alistair. of Andy Lane. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 cut, cut, cut. Leave it there. Don't keep, don't, right. Okay. We're, we're, good. we're good. Right then, guys. Um, We're going to go. Uh, Yeah. Hour long show. That's not bad. Because uh, we started 10 minutes early because I hit the go live button by mistake and I couldn't be bothered to go around so we just carried on chatting um, so I'll either see you during the gaming sessions during the week or Wednesday night for Dalek alright um, boys thank you so much um, it's it's time for us to go anybody like to sing some oh no there was yes I've remembered damn it okay now this is good before we go last week we reviewed the Missy box set didn't we you did. Okay, now. Yes. I forgot to point something out in last week's show. I said there was a second oh, in joke. Oh, yes. I said there was a second in joke, and I was going to wait and see if Brian and Eddie came up with it. They didn't. didn't. However, I also we forgot. Didn't. So, um, and I mentioned it in the middle of the reaction to World War Three, uh, but it basically it's this. The theme tune to Missy... Is Chim Chimney from Mary Poppins. And if you don't believe me, we're going to go out on it. Feel free to sing along at home. Why don't you? Say goodbye, boys. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye, boys. What kind of sick, twisted, megalomaniacal lover of death and power would do such a thing? Here we go.
tell me I'm wrong. Oh, I, I can't hear Eddie now. I can't hear Brian. You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. That's a distorted, total distorted version, but that's class. That, that, that is, that's a lovely musical in-joke there. Because, I mean, Mary, you know, it, she's scary Mary, quite frankly, isn't she? So, yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, so, lovely job, whoever did that. Bye. To fight for what you want, for all that you believe. It's right to fight for what we want, to live the way we please. As long as we have done our best, then no one can do more. And life and love and happiness are well worth fighting for. They're well worth fighting for. With rings on the fingers of...